Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Proverbs 2 6. The Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Um, just trying to make sure that my words match what I'm trying to do and choosing my words wisely. <laughs> Not always when I get mad, it just flies right out. <laughs> Not always done. So, anyway, all right, so. Here, I'll start with this one, and I've got to tell you, this is like the most staticky -ish yarn you can see. I think we've discussed this before. It's acrylic, but it is super staticky. Um, yeah, so I've been concentrating on two projects. Just ripped a stitch out of this one. Um, just trying to get done this little blanket or throw, or whatever you want to call it, and so it's gotten quite large, <laughs> and yeah, so once I get done with this side, then I go to this side, yeah, and it's going to keep going, so I'm just using up, this will probably be the last round of colors, because I'm running out of a lot of them, so I'm hoping that I make it to the baby blue, and Whatever dimensions it comes out to be, it comes out to be. So, um, yeah. Don't know. It, the toughest thing with it is it's acrylic yarn, but it is super staticky, therefore creating yarn bark all the time. So, yeah. Um, the other one, now this one hasn't gotten worked on a whole lot. I think I did maybe a row. Um, but this is the one, and I put it on a back burner because, honestly, it's got the furthest to go. I'm not even through one skein of yarn, and I still have that much to go. So this one will take longer to complete, so I'm putting it on the back burner until I can get a couple of these others done. Um, and I've also got some sewing going on this week, so... Yeah. Okay, I've made a decision about this, and I'm actually on the handle. And this is what it's going to be. I have one, oops, right here. <laughs> I put one too many stitch. When I joined the uh, red, I made an extra stitch. Didn't mean to. Not going to go back and rip it out. Just going to put the handle there so it looks like it hangs funny. <laughs> if you pull it and... If I was to block it, but yeah, <laughs> it's good enough for me. Um, I have decided that I'm not going to do the gray on the top. Um, the pattern had blue and this, but I changed the stitch because I wanted it tighter woven and I didn't want it so thick. And trust me, this is thick enough. Um, so I still have a skein of blue and a skein of gray from this that I probably will make something else out of. Um, don't know. I know that I've already got one order of red and white hats to do for Christmas. I don't know how many that's going to entail, um, but it's for a whole um, Life Light crew. It's the uh, crew that goes, uh, runs, the, Life Light is what we call our helicopters, our emergency medevac teams or whatever you want to call. I don't know what they call them on TV. I don't watch TV, so I'm not really into it. But um, RJ's other half, her mom is a flight nurse. And she does that as well as her regular job. So when she's not um, at her regular nursing job, she um, is on call for life flight. So uh, she... <laughs> didn't want the men to wear head things. You know, she had me make all those head. So she's decided that she wants hats for all of them. And their team colors are red and white. Yeah. Red and white. And so I will be making the entire flight crew crocheted hats um, for Christmas next year. And that order's already in. She heeded my warning because I was like, yeah, you need to have everything in. Because she waits till the last minute and then she's like, can you have this in two weeks? Yeah. 
anyway, so I am putting a handle on this and it's just going to be a strap. I still have this much yarn. It probably will just be as much as the yarn will allow unless it gets too long. And then I'm, I just want it kind of a cross body. So, um, now I'm in my little traveling bag. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am progressing on this. I want to get this one done. And I want to get the other um, blanket done. And then, like I said, I do have some sewing to do. But this weekend, uh, I went to a car show. Instead of sitting around here crocheting and knitting and whatever, um, sewing. Went to a car show. It was high priced. It was like 28 bucks to get in. And I went with a friend. So, yeah, we each paid our own because it was. Uh, I brought roommate back a t shirt. <laughs> roommate was like, I'm not going. So, um, I said I wanted to go. And roommate was like, Yeah, bring me back a t shirt. So, I did. Uh, the t shirt was actually cheaper than getting in the door. But they had some really cool cars. They had some amazing um, welding work. They had some vintage cars. Just, just really cool. Anyway, so we had, went and had fun. And I did that. So Saturday I didn't get a whole lot of anything done. And then Saturday on the way back from the car show, I stopped at Hobby Lobby and picked up the stuff for uh, my jackets. If you're following the sewing, you know I want to make my own jackets because none of them fit me right. Uh, this one's fitting better, but I'm not happy with the collar. Anyway, we'll get into that sewing one. But uh, I got to see RJ this weekend. Dyed my daughter's hair this weekend on Sunday. Went to car show Saturday. Dyed her hair on Sunday. Just a nice casual weekend. But I do want to get these two things done. And today is Monday. And it's President's Day, so the bank was closed. But we had training on it. So um, I get a floating holiday to use whenever and I don't know what I'm going to use it for but it is what it is uh, so they did one guy said that he uh, went with he's our financial advisor and he went with a gentleman to help him close out some accounts and move them to our bank and the gentleman had asked him to and he said okay uh, the gentleman's like 87 years old. He doesn't drive anymore. And he says, I really need to get this where it's making me some money. Um, this is the last of my nest egg and I need to last because I've outlived what, you know, the status quo says that I'm going to live. And he says, I still have to have it for, you know, like 10 years. And he said, and it's slowly dwindling away. So anyway, uh, the gentleman went with him and he said the first thing he noticed when he went to the other bank is there was no Christie. And he said, Christy greets people and and talks to them and just makes it a fun place to walk into. And while everybody was laughing, I was kind of flattered. You know, hey, 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 guys, mommy's recording. The dogs are going crazy because I'm home in the middle of the day. And they're playing rope. Yes, they're very loud playing rope. Oh, and now they're jumping on the couch. So, I don't know how bad this is going to get. It's going the way it is. So, anyway. Um, I was kind of flattered. It was fun. Um, and they're right. I do love my job and I do, um, make it a fun place to come into. <laughs> Worm just went, cause I got onto him. Worm went and got on the couch. Move you guys around here. He went and got on the couch and Hitch just went and, uh, dropped his rope like, Hey, come back here. What are you two doing? It's just like, come on, I want to play. Yeah. The two of them sometimes crack me up. So, anyway, the other thing that we're doing with these two is trying to teach them not to jump on things. Um, Hey, you're wiggling the table. It's just licking the table. So, they have a habit at night of jumping up in our laps. And Hitch has, he's healthy, don't get me wrong. Um, he's gained weight, and that makes him bigger. And now when he jumps on us, he hurts us. Not not intentionally, I mean, he just has a lot of weight to turn, wham, right down on your lap. 
and of course the top then you know he collides into body parts he shouldn't and it just so yeah they they have learned the vinegar spray bottle but they also know they can get up on this couch and this chair without being fussed at as long as they're not jumping on us in there so um yeah the den has kind of become a vinegar war zone in the evenings is when they really do it. So they're being retrained and uh, <laughs> it, it just fell over on the floor. Like he's not going to play rope. <laughs> they crack me up. They keep my life entertaining. But anyway, so it's been kind of a fun week. Um, not a whole lot of crochet. I am closer to doing that bag. I want to get that bag done today and get that off my plate. That would give me two and then my next kit is supposed to be coming sometime this week. So we will see. Um, they normally mail it out. I don't know. Around the middle of the month. So it should be. If I check my email, it tells me when it's coming. <laughs> but it doesn't always. I mean, I don't always check it. So also, we haven't had a person claim the prize. So I haven't figured out if I'm going to redraw or um just let it be and, and we've done it both ways but if it isn't claimed by the end of the month if i don't receive an email from the winner by the end of the month and remember that the email is right down below so it's not like it's hard to find if you're watching this you can find the email address um you can also find me i think on facebook but i'm not sure i'd have to look at that but anyway, email me. If not, by the end of the month, I will probably just redraw again. I don't know. What do y'all think? Do you want a second chance to win? <laughs> All right. I'm going to get off here. I am going to have a sewing one um, this week. I've probably done more in sewing than I have crochet. I did do a little spinning, but I didn't get enough progress. It still looks like the same bobbin. So I have that two pounds that I want to get spun. And get that done. So, yeah. And other than that, I'm doing laundry and doing little throw rugs that smell like dogs. And I shampooed some carpets today. Just, I had a half day of training. And I'm home early, so I'm going to make some dinner. And I'm going to get this uploaded. And y'all, have a great week. And I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.